We stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. You have to excuse me today, I have a little bit of a cold, so if I sound hoarse, don't worry about it. Uh, first order business is the approval of the minutes. Uh, does anybody have any changes or corrections? No, do you have any corrections? All right. I'll make a motion that the minutes be accepted. All in favor? Aye. Okay, that's done. Next one is um, uh, Richard and Dawn Severin, uh, 7 ha Holland Road, Garrison. Hello? Seven Howland Road? Yes. Nobody here for Seven Howland? Is that you? I'm sorry, that's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was you. I just uh, thought maybe you changed your name in the meantime or something like that. All right. This is a public uh, hearing, as it is, for, you, for your application. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last month the application was accepted. We got everything. We read up, everything like that. This meeting is for uh, any board members have any questions or <clears throat> if any uh, neighbors have any questions, they want to look at the plans or anything. Anything else like that? Okay. Okay. Now, what we look here is you're uh, looking to put up a. Uh, uh, so, uh, right here. Hold on. The uh, 787 square foot addition, right, to your house. Correct. Uh, for pre-existing non-conforming structure, the application doesn't comply with 17523. Uh, okay. And like I said I, I looked at the at your house and all like that. You're just trying to square off because you got like a garage. There's a, <clears throat> correct, there's a right. garage existing, and we're going to put on top of and then close that off and make that all living space. Okay. Uh, I see you got some. You got a lot of emails from neighbors here, that's for sure. All your neighbors are saying good things about this. So. <laughs> <I laughs> you hope got one not. here from, uh, where was it, uh, Nadette Romanelli uh, from um, <clears throat> 7 Howland. Mm -hmm. My name is Jeanette Romanelli. I live at 6 Howland Road. This is 6. My home is directly across from Mr. Mr. Seren's house, and I'm in full support of the addition. And they wish to build in the house. They're wonderful, caring neighbors, and I wish them all the best. And we got another one from 8 Howland, right, from Karen Padilla. And she says, we're in favor of our neighbors, Richard and Dawn, uh, constructing an addition to the house. It will enhance the neighborhood. And I got another one from 9 Howland. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michelle Floresi, I guess it says, I have no issues. With my neighbors, Rich and Dorn at Seven Holland, adding an addition to the house. Thank you for the atten attention to this matter. And the last one is at 12 Holland. Uh, we're neighbors at Dorn and Richard Sereno, and ask our attention that you're looking to renovate their existing house. We would like to see them follow through with their plans as soon as possible. So, nobody got a bad word to say about you, so you're okay. You got great neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we look at the plans. We have plenty of time to look at the plans and everything else like that. Uh, any any questions from any board members? No. Any questions? I just had one quick question. The, sure. the addition, is that going to be solely a second floor addition, or does it also include an addition to the first floor? The first floor footprint stays exactly the same as what's existing, the concrete structure. <clears throat> it's going to be built on top of that. Okay. And then that will be enclosed as living space. Okay. Okay. If that answers the question that you. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right, let's go over the. Uh, we're going to go over that. We're going to go over. As what, first of all, is there anybody in the audience who would like to speak to this? Nobody. Okay. Nobody in the audience. So you got all your neighbors on paper. So you're, you're doing it. Okay. All right. The five factors to be considered. What the board uses these for is to try and consider your, uh, your variant. Will an undesirable change be produced in a character of the neighborhood? Or will a. Uh, Demented to nearby uh, properties be clear, cleared by the granting of the area variance. And your answer is no. If anything, will improve the look of our property and its surroundings. <coughs> well, I agree with you on that because the first floor is kind of a uh, garage which hasn't been, I've been abandoned, I guess, or, or, or was empty. Well, the while. original plan was to do this years ago, but <clears throat> we had the bank crunch. They loaned me the money, they took half back. I went through all of that. So it's been years processing and things have happened that kind of deterred and slowed. Okay. Uh, can the benefits thought be achieved by some method <coughs> feasible <coughs> to, <coughs> to, to, to other than the area of areas? The answer is no. The best uh, should be to uh, finish the existing structure, which I agree with. Uh, that'll square off the house. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, is the uh, request, requested variance substantial? No, due to building on top of existing structure. Will the proposed variance have an adverse effect or impact on the physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood? No, since the, no uh, change to foundation of original footprint, <coughs> which is true. Is the alleged uh, difficulty self-created? Uh, this consideration should be relevant to the decision of uh, the Board of Appeals, but uh, shall not necessarily prelude, preclude the uh, granting of the area variance. Uh, your answer is uh, yes, uh, but not foreseen. The project started 15 years ago when building a garage before finished bank reduced loan by 50% due to fin financial crisis. Then unforeseen family and medical uh, emergencies delayed project till now. Okay. Uh, anybody have any questions? Any yeah. Board members? Does any have any questions? No. Yeah. All right, I make at this point, I make a mo motion that the public hearing be closed. I'll make that motion. You make that motion? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, what I'm, I'm going to do here, I'm going to give you a sign of approval. So, uh, you didn't do the vote. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got to do a vote. <laughs> I, how do you vote? Then? Can I vote? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just call this killing me. Then how do you vote? I vote in favor. I vote to approve. And I vote to approve. I'm sorry. I start taking that medication. Knocks you off your rocker. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you this here, and you're all set. And you uh, present that to the building inspector, and he'll give you your uh, permit. Thank, well. you Thank you very much. Good luck. Fine. Okay. The next one is a uh, application review, review for um, a pool for at uh, 49 Manitella Road. The pool's pool. <laughs> the application proposes a 25 by 12 in-ground fiberglass pool, requiring a front yard setback of 60 feet, where 28. Uh, 28 feet 10 inches is proposed. So it's a setback that's going to meet the requirements. Uh, Phillips down the table, the building permit application denied. <laughs> so you're going to look for a <laughs> front yard uh, variance to um, put up this pool, basically. Right? Yes, and sir. You, you are, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Chris Schmidt with Neve Group, uh, just representing the clients tonight. Okay. Do you uh, have... So we're the pool builder um, and yeah. landscape person okay. for the project. Did you submit a paper authorizing them you to do that? Yes. You did? <coughs> I'm trying to find it. Anybody find it? Not yet. Huh? Is it found it? Where is it? Back. Okay. Uh, basically, what this here is tonight is for to see if the application is complete. To see if we have everything that we need. Yes. Okay. And then what we do, if we do, then we'll schedule a, a public hearing. Okay. For, uh, that public hearing would be next month, would be June 12th. Okay. Monday, same same time here. And uh, <laughs> what that does, it gives the neighbors letters to be sent out, gives them time to if have any questions or anything else like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just I would make a motion that the application is complete. A second. A second. Four in favor? Aye. Okay, you're all set. Okay. Sounds next. Good. Uh, June. You know, January, what I say, June 12th. Okay. Okay. Do you, know, um, you want us to do the mailings? I know. Uh, the secretary will handle mailings. I'll send you the address. Yeah, the address is, yeah, she'll do that. She'll do some right. mailings, okay? And uh, other than that, if, it, if anybody's in favor, you know, they can always send us an email or something like the, like the last gentleman did. Yeah. You know, I know that always helps us, you know. Okay. And if anybody's uh, against, against it, you'll know that night. We'll tell <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Uh, nice you oh, thank you. All right. Any other business? All business, new business? Motion to adjourn. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're done. <laughs>